Hi, uh, I'm back again and in this video we are going to learn about analog signal processing. We have seen how analog cards behave with respect to resolution and bits and voltage. So now we can also, you know, vary the gain of this analog voltage, how to vary the gain and how to provide some offset in some critical applications. So, for example, let's start with basic analog digital curve or DVP0480 which means 4 channel analog to digital card. In that we have read that this analog curve starting from 0 to 10 volts. So at 0 volt, this is A to D, which converts analog voltage to digital bits. We get 0 bit. At 10 volt, we get 8000 bits. So at 5 volt, we get 4000 bits. That's how it works. So we have a straight linear curve in that, which we know that we have configured our uh, WPL to get this curve. All right. So now <clears throat> let's have some different curve. Let's have some, you know, some flexible customized curve. So let's look at this curve right here. What we have here is we are having 0 volt to 5 volt signal. Suppose, in case we are having some potentiometer or some sensor which is giving a signal of 0 to 5 volt, in that range, you want to use this full length of digital conversion. You want to use from 0 to 8000. Otherwise, if you get 0 to 5 volt, you'll get 4000 at 5 volt, but you want 8000 at 5 volt. All right, now what will why, why we need this, this customization? This will increase the resolution. Now, if you calculate that. Here we know that in 1 volt we are getting 800 bits. All right, so 800 multiplied by 10 we get 8000 bits. Here 5 volt we are getting 8000. So resolution is absolutely double. So at 1 volt we will be getting 1600 bits. So correspondingly our resolution which used to be 1.25 millivolts reduced to exactly half. All right, so let's just take the first. So resolution will become exactly half here. So now how to achieve this curve? This curve. So that for, for that we need to have some gain settings. Now there's a gain inside of inside the card which says that gain is the voltage input value when digital output is K4000. Alright. It means in that case 4000 comes at, comes at 5 volt. So the gain in this curve is 4000 by default. But in this case gain will change. Alright. How it will change? At 4000, we are getting 2.5 volts. So to convert that volt into bits, because again, we have to enter in bits, whose range is minus 200 to 16,000 bits. So we have to multiply this 2.5 with 800, which accounts to 2000. In this case, 5 into uh, 5 volt into 800 is 4000. So in this case, gain is 4000 by default, but here gain has to be exactly half, 2000. So how to enter this 2000? Let's see that, and let's see the pending implication of that. I'm going back to this window. Now this you might have seen in the earlier windows with the videos as well. Analog input module setup, input mode settings, right, and 1000. Back to list. Then comes channel 1 present value. Let's read that value in D0, adding this to list as well. Now comes the gain. Now the gain in that case would be 2.5 into 800, which is 2000. All right. I'm going to hit, click here condition 1000. Gain will be 2000. Okay, adding this to the list. Pressing the OK. So, this is the coded form of reading the value from channel 1 and adjusting the gain. I'm writing this to my PLC. So, now you can see over here. Now, the curve it should follow is this at 0 volt, it should, it should give us 0 bit, at 5 volt, it should give 8000 bits. Okay. So let me just turn on my multimeter. Now this multimeter is reading the voltage from this uh, potentiometer, right? So if I start increasing the value of potentiometer, you can find values we decrease. Okay, let me just tune this one. Hold on. Now I am at zero volt. Okay. Oops, sorry, it's at the AC. All right, so I am at zero volt over here. Okay, now I'm increasing the value. Wait, here I have to adjust the offset as well because I have entered some offset in the previous example. Offset is that from where you want to start the value. This is offset here, it's zero. So I have to enter the offset as well. So let me just put the offset, otherwise the value will be showing some error.
Morph it as zero. Actually, I have done some previous experiment here in which I have modified the offset, so I just have to reset this one. Now, if you see here, now this is zero volt over here, and zero is there in this digital bit as well. Now, if I keep on increasing the value, it will increase the bits. Now, at five volt, I should be getting eight thousand. Right? So, two point five, I'm having four thousand. So, on increasing the value, now it's almost. 5 volt and I'm getting the value 819 and beyond that it will remain same okay so now we have scaled the value like this at 5 volt we are getting 8000 and at 2.5 volt we will be getting near about 4000 let's check it again so that's how you can vary the gain and you can get the values as you require let me go back 2.5 I'll be getting near about 4000. All right, this is the analog gain, and this is the curve which we have got like this. You can also have this if you're having a sensor of 6 volt, 0 to 6 volt, or some in analog input of 0 to 6 volt. You can change the gain accordingly. You can, you know, lift this up to 8000 for the 6 volt, and you can find out the gain and the offset. All right, so now let's move to the second exercise here. I'm taking an example that I have a voltage range of 2.5 volt to 5 volts. So just a range of 2.5 volts, potential difference of 2.5 volts, which I want to read between 0 to 8000 bits. So thereby increasing more resolution for this case. So in that case, offset become 2.5 volt, offset become 2.5 volt into 800. That is how we have to calculate the offsets and the gain. So that accounts to 2000. So with two, if I enter 2000 the offset, uh, it will start reading the voltage when it reaches 2.5 volt. Then it will call it as zero. Otherwise, below that, if, if I raise the uh, line here, it will show the value in minus. Okay. Now at 5 volt, it will show me 8000. So the gain means the value which, now if you read the definition, gain says voltage input value when digital output is 4000. So digital output is 4000 here. At here, voltage input value is 3.5, 3.75. So multiplying this by 800, we get 3000 as gain. So that's how we have to calculate gain and offset. So now we have to just input these values here. All right. So I'm removing this line. Now our gain was 2000, you know, 3000, offset is 2000. Gain is 2000. So I'm going to put gain here, writing the value. Taking the condition 1000, gain is 2000. Offset is 3000. If I'm correct. Sorry, gain is 3000, offset is 2000. Gain is 3000, offset is 2000. Writing this value here. Program has been downloaded. Now, in that case, you will see that when I reach 2.5 volt, I'm exactly at 2.5, so this will start increasing. Let me just minimize this one. But you can see clearly. Right. I hope this is fine. Now, right now I'm at 2.5 volt, which you can see in the multimeter. Now I should increase the value. So the value is being increased at 3.75 volts, I'll be getting 4000. So it's 3.75, it's, it's near about 4000. So increasing beyond to 5 volts, it will give me 8000. The value has been increased to 8000. So now the value has been increased to 8000. So this is how we have now again reduce the resolution, increase the resolution by having this curve. That's how we can do the customization. Uh, it's up to you how you want to attach your answer, how you want to read that. If you're having a very acute range, that can be read in the maximum resolution of 8000 bits. So that's the way how we can do some game adjustment in our analog cards, A to D cards by changing the offset and the gain, all right? 
So that is all about gene setting in AD. In next video, we'll see about gene settings of DNA. Be sure to have a look.